Good morning, folks. Today we're taking a look at the 55 ton Vapor Eagle. It's a really good looking mech, uh, very, very symmetrical. We've looked at the Vapor Eagle before, but definitely not in this configuration. And something that the new patch has uh, brought out in a lot of uh, configurations that I've seen on this thing is what we're doing today, which is not a double, not a triple, but a quad ERPPC Vapor Eagle. This has one jump jet, tons of heat sinks. A capacity of 1.34, but don't get fooled by that because this thing can run very hot if you're not careful. Uh, obviously, you got to watch by firing more than two PPCs will result in heat spike, and those heat spikes are massive if you double tap. Or not double tap, but two in one bank, two in the other. So if you go fire, fire, you're going to be three quarters of your heat scale, um, which is expected. So this is not a in-your-face fight brawler. This is a heavy sniper. Um, so we have the... Um, Weapon groups as such, we have two on bank one, two on bank two, and a cycling bank on bank three, so that we can go two, then two, cool down a bit, two, then two, and if we're too hot at that point, we can go one, 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 which you do see a little bit in the first video uh, when I've got a guy shooting at me with, I think, some sort of a auto cannon. I can't remember which. I think it was an AC2, but it might have been an AC5. In any case, um, hope you enjoy these two videos coming up of the Vapor Eagle Quad Heavy Sniper. And I'll see you on the battlefield. Good morning, everyone. Today we're taking out the Vapor Eagle with uh, a post uh, uh, patch configuration that you're seeing a lot on the field these days. I wanted to give it a try. Uh, so, this is the 4 ERPPC Vapor Eagle. Um, it to, re to do this, it, it requires a slower engine, um, so we are only going 66.3. do have jump jets, so that's good, but uh, it'd be nice to get up. And you got to watch heat big time on this build. So you got to cycle your weapons. Oh, that was loud. Hang on a second. I always forget to turn it back down again. Sorry about that. When I'm uh, not recording, I turn it up and do uh, group team play and stuff like that. But uh, when I'm playing, when I'm recording, I don't want to hear squawky squawky in the background. Okay, I can stay here for a second and see what comes up. Obviously, there's something there. Just for a minute or two. Okay, we don't get moving now. We're going to get pinned down up here on the top at some point. Ah, I suppose I should have used my jump jets there to soften that landing. I didn't think it was that high. 1% off the legs, just paint scraping. So that runs you a little hot, but that's okay, because then you just cool as much as you can. Let's get in on this if we can. We get in here, but I get out of people. trigger I pulled the one that was already on cycle darn it okay so now that we get behind them let's just make sure there's nothing on this side shooting us in the back and there is of course oh good target for me if I can hit him whole enemy team coming around mind you gotta watch that oh, he's just gonna peek and poke not a good good place for me to be now oh, he's pissed me off shot at me you know shoot at me not like that I'm not going to just stand here and stare in the distance. I want to get into this fight, which means facing the enemy coming up the ramp. I can go to 
a single shot if we have to, but I don't want to right just yet. Give it a little more cooling. Look at that. coming through at the same time. That's got elite marks. I mean, seriously. Get out of here. I don't like that. I cannot keep up with that fire with the heat. That's the problem is the heat. got me <laughs> I killed okay yeah all right so they got me when I got the other guy so let's see how this plays out 10 to 11 is close but it's not looking good wake up juice gotta have your wake up juice and the 11 okay so I think he's trying to get into a position where he can Snipe with his LBs. At least I took that one with me at the end there. Um, must have been a guy behind me I didn't even see. <laughs> Situational awareness. What? I'm hoping that this guy will actually get in the combat and not just walk around aimlessly. I'm sure he will. Makes it last a little longer than it needs to. This is not a cap center, this is a kill, so it's either die or be died. Be killed. Kill or be killed. At 25%. I have no idea. I think he's trying to get to their base. It's not exactly, LV has got range to it, but it's not exactly a sniper weapon per se, so. He's trying to get a perch area to shoot from. I suspect they're going first before our base. So they're saying cap the base, and they're saying that there's one here somewhere. I have not seen a ping or anything like that of the sort, but uh, we'll see what happens as soon as he gets there. This will attract their attention, unless, of course, they are capping ours, which they are. This could be a slow cap, folks. Two max versus one capping. Yeah, they're on our base. I wonder if they've got, yeah, they've got, with the, the, the speed they're capping, they've either got a, a light mech that's got cap uh, uh, assist on, um, so speeding up, or they got both mechs sitting on our base just to finish it off quickly. Um, I don't see him getting there in time, but because of jump jets, he can go pretty much a straight line right across the center, assuming he should have gone right on top of that building, as I don't think his jump jets would take him off. Nah, he's not even trying. Okay, so... Um, the 4 ERPPC uh, Vapor Eagle, as you can see, can pump out some quite a bit of damage. Uh, it also can pump out some heat, so you must, you must be vigilant with the heat on this mech. Um, in the beginning, I, I tapped left and then right uh, uh, banks, and I tapped them, I think, a little too close together because I spiked really fast. That must have been less than the cooldown time. First jump jets. It'll be interesting to see how this. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> I know he's changed his mind. He's going through the tunnel. 
Yeah, so um, you can. It's better. It, it, it's definitely a sniper build. Uh, and but it's a. I, I would classify the four ER PPC. Where is this guy going? You can't go up there, dude. Oh my god, you can. Okay. Lesson learned. Take the Annihilator off the field, you might have a small chance. Oh, this just got interesting. Although he's very, very core center torso. And we don't even know where the enemy is. Or how damaged he is yet. Nah. Very good fight. Very good fight. So yeah, it's a uh, I call it a heavy sniper. I'm gonna I'm gonna term the quad vapor eagle as a heavy sniper. So that's what I'm gonna call the video too. So two killing blows, five kill assists, two solo kills, three KMDDs, 534 damage done, 365 taken, and three components destroyed. And with all that, I still only got an equal in the team pilot rating or PSR, I should say. Um, so here we are. We have 421, which is one, two, third in the group. Uh, and uh, the, 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 like sixth or seventh in the whole match. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this first video of the Vapor Eagle Quad Heavy Sniper ERPPC, and I'll see you on the battlefield for number two. All right, here we go, round two, HPG Manifold. This ought to be interesting as this is much shorter range uh, for sniping capabilities. I could climb the mountain and go on the roof, but I, I just... Sitting still, sitting still, sitting still, and sniping from one position is just not fun. I mean, it could be fun in the sense that you're like, ha ha ha, I shot you, and you have no idea where I am, or you can't reach me. But uh, nah, just nah. See if anything comes in this way. Once they start coming. game through there really fast or I haven't come through at all I'm going through not with I'm going with not at all I'm surprised we haven't encountered anyone yet actually like their whole team went one way not the usual way. I hit something, but I didn't hit the guy I was aiming for because he's still gray, all, all gray. But it did say uh, protected something or other. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time on that. Target target spotted. Need assistance. New target acquired. Not the greatest shots yet so far, but uh, it's okay. Those great guys will take care of him for no problem. No problems there. Three guys will take care of him again, so there's no point in going over that way. There's four guys over there. We don't need any more over here. The PPC jumpers are nasty. Oh, that's okay. I don't need the arms. I do want to keep moving. Like, I don't want to be here. Target spotted. Oh, there's a guy over here still. Ah, they'll get him. Four guys over there. Somebody's bound to get him. Right now, what I need to do is get back into combat, because shooting is how you win this game, apparently. So I've been told. 
Can't get him. Shot from somewhere here. I don't know where. Stop shooting me. Don't want to be shot anymore. Okay, there we go. Ah. Somebody stop walking in front of me. Six, very close game, very close game. Eight six now, doing good, doing good. Target. If I can get to this guy. Can't shoot him. Over here. Target acquired. Oh. Missed. Missed my shot. No, oh, we can get you. We can get you, get you, get you. Come on up, I dares ya. Ah, second shot missed. First one I got him a bit. He's legs, so he's screwed. Yeah, I was gonna say. That missile volley coming in, I was about to say, oh, that should get him, and he died. <laughs> Let's see how this went. So, zero killing blows, 10 kill assists, 519 damage done, 223 taken, and then up. Uh, so we have a 406, which is one, two, third in the group, fourth in the match. Uh, hope you enjoyed these two episodes, uh, two, two episodes, two videos of the Vapor Eagle Heavy Sniper uh, Quad ERPPCs. Uh, again, watch the heat, but it is a lot of fun. Uh, and on that note, I'll see you on the battlefield.